Mr. Moss, who's in the green jerseys versus Capo Finale, who's in a white jersey. 0-0, zero, zero, we're on the 25-yard line. I will keep you posted as we reach the fourth quarter in the other game if there's anything, any scores or any crazy things that happen. Again, shout out to our super producer who always keep us in the loop. Keep you guys with the best gameplay on the screen at the time. So as we see it, you guys see it. Thomas Rawls, Mr. Moss in for the score. Moss is made for TV. As soon as we turn him on, he goes ahead and scores. There you go. But again, fellas, I was saying that and it looks like W just kicked the field goal to go up 25-3 in that game. So what I was saying was Big Rob, uh, Big Grocery reached out to, I reached out to him because I've been out the loop for a minute because I was in the process of building a house this year and haven't really been able to play. All right, so I just moved a couple weeks ago and I'm getting back into the swing of things. But Gro Big Rob talked to me after the Vegas event. It just gave me some feedback on how the game is being played so it can help me bring good commentating to you guys so i appreciate him for, for doing that because a lot of guys won't do that there's very few guys in our community who are community first guys who will make sure that the community is always the one benefiting regardless of you know who who's doing an event or anything so i appreciate him for doing that so that's where we at. I want to make sure I always give him credit for doing that. Him and my good friend, uh, one great user, for the great work that they always do. We have reached the red zone. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the other game. Earl Thomas with the pick, and he's going to take that in as we pop. Wow. Earl the Pearl with another pick and score. Two pick sixes in the game against Jay Bird and Dub. W. That, that one is pretty much over pretty much over so here we go mr. Moss okay so we have mr. Moss here capos on offense Moss with great defense right there and we're gonna hurry up see I'm not a real fan of the hurry up I understand why people use it but I've always looked like if you don't get like big chunks on something I don't like to hurry up and run the next play uh, because one you don't put any pressure on the defense they already know what's coming you didn't get too much on the first play so what type of success do you really expect on the next one um, if you weren't really in a great position in that first play so um, take your time guys I used to I used to be a, a person who overused hurry up and you can, you can essentially just go back to your same formation and run the same play over, but make your opponent feel as though they need to pick a different defense because they don't know why you went back. So that's that's just my opinion. That's not everybody's opinion, but that's, that's how I feel about it. Fourth and 22. Fourth and forever. Mr. Moss has Capo backed up. And again, guys, we're 32-3 in the in the W versus Jaybird game. So the point differential is vicious right here. Let's go, Mr. Moss. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Seattle versus Seattle this game. Again, opposite game. W versus Jaybird. Falcons versus Seattle. Jaybird is the Falcons. And I gave you guys an update earlier. Drini beat Big Gene 14-7. There are more games coming. As the games come in, I will make sure that I give you guys updates on those. I'm trying to keep my eyes trained onto the... Oh, Lord. Richard Sherman. W is kicking... I don't want to say... Uh, is, there a, is there a polite way to say ass? Um, Yeah. He's pretty much doing all that. It's 38-3. Good Lord. Jesus. Three pick sixes. EA, if you guys are in here, there needs to be an accomplishment for um 
did it to be XP or some type of accomplishment for three pick sixes in a game? And at a live event? That's like an automatic legend card. Yeah, matter of fact, we all know we got EA reps in here, EA in the game. Yo, can we get some cards to give away to the players here, man? Get us something in here. Somebody let, let Rex know. We got to get some stuff away. Or send something to W to give away on some of his streams as well because that three pick sixes, man, that's special to do in a live event. That's special. So seven nothing here again. Mr. Moss is up. Mr. Moss is in the green jerseys. He's on offense right now. Capo's on defense. The game hasn't gotten out of hand. This is one of them games where you feel as though a a player is better, but the game is still tight, so anything can happen. You know, that, that's a feeling that we get in Philadelphia a lot, watching our Eagles. Sometimes, like this is a great year, but in the past, we played down to our competition. So we need to see, and this is my first time seeing Capo, so I'm not knocking him, but we need to see, is he forcing Mr. Moss to play down, or is Mr. Moss not taking him serious enough and just getting him out of there? Got to get him out of here when you can. Have to get him out of here. They're saying who you have in the finals. We got some good players in here. Like I, like I told you guys before, we got some real good players in here. Little man is in the back talking with Drini right now. Moss with that sweep. Oh, great user right there. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a touchdown. Easy breezy, lemon peasy. Mr. Moss with the score from deep. And as he starts to gain some separation, 14 nothing. as we approach the two-minute mark in the first half. And I'm not sure who gets ball at half in this game. Not sure at all. So what I want to do, guys, you have Dubby, 39-3 over Jaybird. You have Moss right now, 14 nothing over Capo. Who do you like in this group to win the group? Is it W because of the points that he's already scored? Is it Mr. Moss? Is it our two favorites or do you believe in any of the underdogs right now? Jay Bird and Cap are the underdogs. And I think all of you guys, so we'll just do one for W, two for Mr. Moss. Three for any, if you think any of our underdogs could pull out and in advance in this bracket who do you guys think of advance let me know w ones mr moss two any of the other two guys three looks like my twi my twitch uh locked up with me there. yes it did you guys broke my twitch that's great i love it so that game ended 39 to 3. As W awaits the winner of this game or the loser of this game, however way we do. 14 nothing, minute 30 left in the game. I'm sorry in the first half. Who's on defense here? Moss on defense running that 3-4 odd. Okay, we got an empty set here. Spread them out. Spread them out. Beautiful play right there. Beautiful play. I know you guys. I'm, I support everybody in the community. So if you guys watch uh, Madden Tips, which is Z Falls and S Gibbs, they did something on the spread. Saying how if you spread the field out, the defense also has to spread. I, read, I wrote a spread offense book probably like eight years, seven years ago. I'm um, explaining a lot of the concepts of that. And um, it still works. And as you see, as he's, ah, you can't throw into there. As you see, he's spreading them out, trying to open things up for him, make reads a little bit easier for him. So to be honest, what I would do with stuff like that is you can actually take spread formations and run them to the boundary and pop plays open easier because it, autumn, it immediately shows you who the 
odd man is or who the weak link is on the defense when you run to the boundary. And the boundary is the short side of the field. If you guys haven't heard that before, some people say wide or short side. It's actually called the boundary um, if you're running to the short side of the field. Capo wants to stay in the eye for him. And the run game has become essentially pretty effective in Madden so far this year. Or after the patch, you see Joke over there coming off of a final appearance in Burbank. What's up, big? Who else in here? Let me just say what's up to the rest of the guys in here. Official Moss to Chappy. What's the deal? My man Siwoo is dumb to make Tarney. Okay. Trey Madden. It's hard to find a venue in some places, yes. All right, so, again, 14-0. Mr. Moss is up in this game. We got goals and dreamies setting up. Is that what I see over here? Is that what's coming to the stream next? Uh-oh. I believe Capo is in white. Let's see here. Mr. Moss. Mr. Moss is, and we're trying to clarify something for you guys real quick. Because someone said there that Capo might be in green. That would be crazy if Moss is getting beat like that. But I want to give the guys credit for whoever is actually uh, winning the game. Bunch. We in that bunch. He got Wagner just set up. It looks like Cabo got Wagner set up. Just I please run so I can smash him. Oh, beautiful route combination right there. Beautiful route combination right there. Had that halfback running out on a vertical route. Out of the backfield with his man breaking on a crossing or a short, uh, short end route to pull the linebacker. He pulled that linebacker, got enough space to throw that ball in there. Very good route. So real quick, we have to make a clarification. The flood is not on the capo side. The flood is on Mr. Moss side. Mr. Moss is actually getting flooded. Moss is in white. Capo is in green. Capo is in. Okay, hold on. I'm lost. Okay. Hold up. I'm lost here. Hold on one second. So Capo, Capo is not Capo. I'm sorry. Moss is in white. Capo is in green. I thought I saw green score multiple times here. Though. Hold on one second. Here. We shall see immediately. Hold on one moment, fellas. And we're also going to get some other game scores in here for you guys. Give me one moment. So real quick clarification, guys, I do apologize. So we it, it is Moss is in green, but his logo is showing blue for some reason. So that's what threw us off. Um, so I just want to get that clarification for you guys. So Cap Moss is up 14-0. His logo should be green. However, it is showing blue. So that's just, again, we want to make sure that we, we get you guys uh, the right information. And uh, we appreciate that real quick. We need <laughs> EA. There's a pass that needs to be put out. 
on the color. Oh, Lord. Come on, Capo. Fight for yourself here, man. Fight for yourself here. What are we going to do out here? And I do I do see goals. We'll be playing Dream. We'll be playing Dreamy next. Capo getting some good runs out here right now. Some real good runs out here. Got to establish yourself fourth and inches. This could be big. This could be big. I see hesitation. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Broken tackle. First down run right there for Capo. We're trying to, you know, he want to. Make sure Moss respects him. Put some respect on my name. Don't come out here and just think you're going to flood me. No, no, no. That's not going to happen. Not at all. First and 10. From the 43, you're down to two minutes in that third quarter. Oh, look at that block. I thought he had a block shed. Oh. Contested, broken up play downfield. Mr. Moss with the play downfield to prevent the big catch. But to be honest, I like what Capo was doing. If he continues to do it, I think you need. I think he needs to stay in the spread in these empty sets. I think it helps him. As you can see right there, pull. Look, 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 look at what he has on the outside. Where well, the players can't hear me, so he just readjusted. He had Thomas Ross. What are you? Oh, Lord. He's running around with the quarterback too much. Good job. Good job. Good job. Moved the pocket a little and was able to get his player to pop open as those defenders froze downfield for whatever reason. Drini and Goes playing yet. Yeah, they are setting up. Ant or ATL, they are setting up. So that will be coming to you guys next as we wind down in this game. Approach it. Look at the block shit. Look at the block shit. Moss over there grooving. Y'all can't see him. I see him. He over there grooving. He got something good on in his, in his he's listening to something good. Because I see him bobbing. And Capo just out here trying to fight for himself. Chowder, you need a bracket link. We'll get that bracket link posted for you again. See, I told you I ain't even had to say much. Super producer on it. You say bracket. By the time you refresh the screen, the bracket's already up there. At the 28, Capo's trying to get in here. It's all about point differential. Do not quit on yourselves, fellas. Get that proper seeding. Get some points on the board. Once you get them points on the board, get more points on the board. Keep it going. I see little man over there. Little man is standing behind the couch. You're not on the couch, little man. <laughs> Come on, Capo. It's just that hesitation. Hmm. That's smart. That's nice. Both backs out of the backfield running little hook routes. Setting up on opposite sides. So that's kind of like the ace. Running the ace formation. Ace makes your defender show which side he likes. He prefers to defend or how he reads your offense. And if, they, if you find what they jump, then you can start attacking the areas that they don't jump. As you see, Moss is bringing everybody down because we're in a compressed area of the field. The tight zone, as we I don't like calling it the red zone. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not going to work, Kappa. You have to feel, you have to feel um, confident in yourself. So, fellas, what I'm going to do is we got a little man sitting down here. Thank you for coming through, little man. Just look straight ahead. You say hello to the, everybody out there. Hello, guys. How we doing? What's been going on with you, man? Uh, it's this guy here. Uh-huh. What you going to do today? I'm going to try to open the whole thing. You putting people on the couch? Mm -hmm. Okay. put everyone on the couch today. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Twitter handle for everybody so that they, they can follow you, man? 
Uh, it's EMB underscore little man. So EMB underscore little man. That's little man out here with me. Oh my god. Yeah, he almost had that pick, man. I mean, that was fourth down anyway. Yep. So, so. so who do you like, like outside of yourself? Outside of someone from EMB, because uh, you can't yeah, just say joke. I, right? I don't want to be biased, but uh. So who's out here that you are? Uh, I think who are uh, the threats. I think uh, Juni. You know, Juni. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a uh, very solid player, but he's playing ghost right now. So yeah. Hopefully he loses, but outside EMB, I think Juni because you know he's a solid player all around. He can play defense. He can play offense. Okay. He knows when to be aggressive, not to be aggressive. Yeah. Uh, he knows how to control the clock too. So. So, will be my, uh, my pick. so the crazy thing, you were, it's amazing, 2010 was the MLG event, yeah. seven years ago, how does it feel to be a vet now, like you was a young, you was a young guy at that point, you're yeah. still young, uh -huh. I'm older, yeah. but how does it feel to be a vet in the community now, what do you see as, uh, in this era of the community compared to what you saw at that point when you were first really coming into your own well uh, my era it was a lot a lot more capping like a lot mm -hmm. more like in like in your grill capping yeah uh, I mean not like in your face but like yeah, yeah. it was really a little bit close but nowadays uh, it's not really that much capping but even though I, I, I cap yeah yeah every game but uh but uh, the, the these young guys but they're, they're, they're really good too like okay. other than uh, uh, the outside of the pressure, like if, if we put more pressure on them, I think they would fold. Okay. So there's not a lot of pressure in this era than than there was like in the mm. following era, uh, the last era. Why? Why would you I don't know why. Anybody? Anybody. Come in, uh, it's game over anyway. Yeah, it's so. 21. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> he over there talking to gold. Yeah. So <laughs> I I feel like this era is kind of like a little bit soft. It's soft because mental because of the mental side. Yeah, because of the mental side. But the the, the, game the, play, the guys playing, can play. Yeah, they they play right. They play good. They know how to play. They know how to control the clock. They know how to, uh, you know, like I said, be aggressive uh, yeah. when you need to be aggressive. You need to be conservative. Uh, they know everything that that the vets know. Yeah. So, so but the, the I think I think if there was like more like a TZ in your in your face, <laughs> someone <laughs> like that, like I had like yeah. in, in MLG when I played Prodigy in the final league. Yeah. TZ was like literally in my ear. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, so we have this. Tough. So more or less like, again, back then at the MLG or even when our old players bowl, when people were elbow to elbow. Yeah, elbow. You. Yeah. Like just feeling somebody like all in your space yeah. at that you point. You just have no no space. You just feel like, and you're like looking around. You're like, ah, oh, man. It's just, it's just harder. It's just harder. Yeah. But I mean, no, not to take away the, to the young guys. No, you're they're, not. they're really good. They're yeah. really good. Uh, you know, like Joel, they got Drew. Yeah, I've, I've seen Joel play. Uh, you know, Skimbo. He only been playing. He's he been playing for like three years, four wow. years. He's all the way up. Yeah. Well, he might as well be up. Yeah, he's all he's up really performing. He's yeah. really performing. So, uh, how do you feel about that? That new goat talk. I think I, honestly, I think he's up there. Yeah. I think he's ready. I mean, I've said it. I mean, he's won two. Yeah, he's right? Won two. If he back gets to back. Listen, if he, listen, and that's back to back, too. Back to Now, here's the thing. So, this is what I said. So, for, for pure transparency, when Problem won his second event, right? I called, I, I was talking to Big B. Big B called me from California. Said the ball just won. I said, tell him, and I, I spoke to Problem on the phone, like, yo, that makes you the GOAT. Like, before it was Lou, after Lou was Big Gene, and Big Gene was because he made, Big Gene won the final and went to the, the yeah, very next final. He lost to, uh, yeah, but he lost. I think he lost to Sandman? Uh, I think he did I'm lose not to sure. Yeah, he might have lost, lost to Sandman. Sandman. But he went to back-to-back -back events. He beat Pretty Boy, and then he lost to Sandman, as yeah. you said, right? So... You just got to give people credit where it's due. Now, here's the thing with, and again, problem if if when people are play this out of order, I'm letting you know. Problem, we respect problem. Problem has done a whole lot. For yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? Like, and nobody's taking any shots at problem or, or mentioning problem out of out of context. Just letting you guys know. This era of Madden introduced online gameplay. We used to chase cities. 
which were 500, was was capped at 500 people. You yeah. couldn't do more than 500 yeah. people at an event. I remember, yeah, right? I, was, I was in that. Yeah. yeah, so you go from a cap of 500 per city to millions, millions of yeah. people. Right, we, let's not even say millions. Let's say it's 10,000 people. Ten, yeah, That's 10, still more than what we were facing back then because yeah. we would have the same people chasing the bus all the time. So if you guys, if you guys really think about that, you have to give this man credit for what he is doing. The live events may not be as strong as they used to be, as you hear a little man said, because of the capping. So it may be a little bit more comfortable to play at a live yeah, event. Yeah, because a lot of people get more comfortable. Like, yeah. So there's not really like people like in you, like 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 old yeah. tournaments. Like they would literally be right here. Yeah. You gotta take it. Yeah. Because you just gotta take it. Yeah. So because of that aspect of it, and again, the live events are great the way that they are now. We're not knocking that. It's great for production. A lot of people couldn't handle that, so we didn't want to do all of that um, to bring the community forward. However, that aspect of the game was something serious. That problem had to deal with when he came through. So that whole thing legitimizes what problem did. But at the same thing, same time, Skimbo is doing it versus a broader field, which actually makes him a legitimate. And he also threat. beat problem in the final. And he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So that's a great. That's listen. Get a man credit. It's not a knock on anybody. Real quick, we're starting. We're starting the game with your guy. So Let's we go. have goals and we have skip up. Skip no. Uh, Drini. Drini. Yeah.